Last week, I purchased two Arducam camera modules. The Arducam Mega Camera. These modules differ in their megapixel count. One with 3 megapixels and the others with 5 megapixels. Both camera models use an SPI interface, requiring only 4 wires in addition to BCC and GND for communication. Despite their similar appearance, the models differ in their pixel resolution and autofocus capabilities. In this tutorial, we will go through the camera's design specifications and pinouts, as well as the method for uses. We will use the camera with an Arduino Uno board, ESP8266, and ESP32 Wi-Fi module to explore all of its features, including video streaming, image capturing, autofocus, auto exposure, auto gain, brightness control, special effects, white balance, contrast control, saturation control, and all other features. Therefore, this guide is going to be very very interesting. So, without getting any delays, let's get started. If you want your PCBs to look as professional as this one, then consider using the services of PCBWay.com. PCBWay is a PCB prototype, an assembly manufacturer that offers high quality boards at affordable prices. Simply, Upload your Garver files and choose your preferences like layers, board thickness, solder maps, etc. Then select your preferred shipping method and place your order. Overall, ordering a custom PCB from PCBWay is a simple and efficient way to get exactly what you need for this project. Moving on. Let's take a look at these camera modules. One is a 5 megapixel camera module and the other is a 3 megapixel camera module. This camera solution is considered laser ray as it simplifies the process of connecting one or more cameras to any microcontroller with minimal effort. Its primary use case is for battery powered IoT devices embedded machine vision and artificial intelligence applications. For our project's practical demonstration and testing, we will be using a 5 megapixel audio cam. This camera can function with any microcontroller that has a single standard SPI interface. It can be directly used with an Arduino, STM32, ESP8266, ESP32 or other MCU systems. Additionally, the camera has a mounting screw on its backside, which allows it to be attached to any surface. Moving on to the pin out section, the camera module has six pins arranged from left to right as BCC, GND, SCK, MISO. Yup, OSI and CS. However, the controller only requires four of these pins for communication. Within the box, there is a six pin connecting interface wire that can be directly attached to the camera module. The other end of the wire can be linked to the microcontroller unit using either a breadboard or wire connection. A fantastic aspect of this camera module is the ability to use more than four modules simultaneously for still images and reading out in a sequential manner. Arducam's official website has detailed information about the camera module's features, applications, and capabilities which can be accessed through this link. Now, let's move on the practical part of this product. Arducam has released an official SDK for this product, which is a C and C++ package containing convenience classes and functions. The library for the Arducam camera is based on the same SDK. You can download the library from this GitHub repository. 
The library is compatible with various boards, including Arduino, ESP, YesTM32, MSP430, Raspberry Pi Pico, and others. After downloading the library, open the Arduino IDE and go to Include a Library. Then select Aid or Zip Library and choose the downloaded library to aid it successfully. Next, navigate to the examples by going to Files and selecting Examples. Under AutoCAM Mega Main, you will find numerous examples for various boards, such as Arduino Duo, ESP32, ESP8266, Microvit, Nano 33 VLE, Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, and Pi Pico. These previewed examples can be used to test the product. Additionally, you will need a GUI tool or software to view the camera images and videos. You can download the Arducam Mega software from the official link provided. After downloading, install the software, which may take some time. Once installed, you can open the software and explore the UI to learn about the camera's use cases. The software includes features similar to a mobile phone camera with all necessary settings. Let's connect the ArduCam Mega Camera with an Arduino Uno board. The official SDK supports Arduino Uno, Mega and Duo boards. But, we will be using the Arduino Uno R3 board. The connection diagram is straightforward. We will power the camera model using the Arduino's 5V pin and connect the rest of the pins using SPI connections. I used jumper wires to connect the camera directly with the Arduino board. But, you can use your own custom PCB. In the Arduino IDE, select the Arduino Uno board from the Tools menu and choose the appropriate COM board for communication. Then, from the Example section, select the Arduino Uno full feature example and upload the code to the Arduino Uno board. To visualize and use the camera, open the ArduCamp Mega software. On the left side of the software, Select the COM port and set the board rate to 921600. Click on Open to connect your camera and then click on the video option to start streaming the image. You can move the camera in different directions to see everything on the GUI screen. The video streaming has a resolution of 320 cross 240 but you can change it if needed. Click on Close to stop the video streaming. And to capture an image, click on the Image option. It may take some time to generate the image file, but once it's captured, you can save it. I saved the image to my desktop and opened it to see that the quality was not bad. In addition to capturing images, and streaming videos. You have the ability to adjust the image resolution and video dimensions, as well as the image format to RGB, YUV or JPEG. The software also includes an exposure control feature with auto exposure enabled by default, but with the option to turn it off and use manual exposure. Similarly, auto gain is enabled by default, but manual gain can be used to adjust the image view. The brightness and contrast control features are also available to control the image quality. Furthermore, the software offers EV control, saturation control, special effects control, white balance control, and focus control. Please note that the focus control feature is only available for 5 megapixel cameras. If you want to learn more about the software, you can explore all of the available options. 
Now let's move on to interfacing the Arduino Cam Mega Camera with the ESP8266. The Node MCO ESP8266 Wi-Fi module is well suited for this application as it operates at a 3.3 volt logic level. Therefore, we will use 3.3 volts as VCC. Here is the connection diagram to connect the ESP8266 with the Arducam Mega Camera. Once again, I use jumper wires to make the camera connection. In your Arduino IDE, select node MCU 1.0 from the tools menu. Then select the COM port. Open an ESP8266 based example, sketch from the examples menu and upload the code to the ESP8266 board. Once the uploading is complete, open the ArduCam software again and click on connect. You can now stream the video just as you did with the Arduino board and use all of the available features. Finally, Let's connect the ArduCam Mega Camera with ESP32. The ESP32 Wi-Fi module is a powerful controller and the best option for this camera. It operates at a 3.3 volt logic level, so we will use 3.3 volt as VCC. Here is the connection diagram to link the ESP32 with the ArduCam Mega Camera. I have used some bar wires to make the connection. After connecting, select the ESP32 dev module from the tools menu in your Arduino ID and choose the COM port. Next, open the ESP32 full feature case from the example section and upload it to the ESP32 board. Once the uploading is complete, Launch the ArduCam software. Click on connect and then let us stream the video. Streaming the video is successful and you can use all the features that were used with the Arduino board. The ArduCam Mega Camera is compatible with various controllers including Arduino, ESP32, ESP8266, MSP430 and Raspberry Pi Pico. For further details on this project, including device information, purchase links, source code, and a written guide, please visit the IoT Projects Ideas website. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.